All right, we're gonna tie a fly here tonight called a lemon shiner, something I've just kind of coined, simple fly. And uh, gonna look like that. A lot of color, a lot of flash, a lot of movement. Late winter, or I mean late fall, winter, smallmouth fishing, you need something that's gonna make a good optical presentation down in the deeper pools, get the fish chasing. chasing. So we've already tied on a medium lead machined gold eyes um, on a uh, Gamakatsu 60 degree bend hook. This is a size two. I also tie it in a size one aught. And we're gonna go with some of this simple flashaboo and um, put it on the back. Again, adding as much flash to this fly as we can. Just a couple simple, simple soft loops there and leave that off the back. Now we're gonna take a few strands, just four or five strands of, what is this? This is called sand colored, barred sand, silly legs or juicy legs. And again, we're gonna go right off the back with these juicy legs, tying them in kind of a nice soft turn. I'm using a yellow big fly thread. And now we're gonna add some bucktail, just simple yellow bucktail, and we're gonna use about, probably about a half a pencil, um, relatively long fibers on here. And we're going to tie this off the back again so that it completely surrounds the fly, the hook shaft of the fly and we're going to just now press down and keep working that end until you can see it kind of goes all the way around. We want it even around on the bottom. Just keep pressing, working. Now we're going to make soft loops forward towards the machined eye. We don't want to pull tight here or that will splay that hair and that's just not a look I want in this fly, so we're going to keep working it forward to the right to the back of the machined eyes, and then we're going to run our thread back. And there you have it. Got the yellow bucktail with the flashaboo and the, the uh, juicy legs or silly legs in the back. And now we're going to grab us a piece of this hackle flash. So this is some new stuff. It's mylar gold. I get this from. Feathercraft in St. Louis is where I get it from and it's kind of a new product and we're going to take a piece of this again and just real simple this is really a simple fly we're going to tie it in in the back work our thread back up to behind the machined eyes and now we're going to palmer this fly all the way forward and try to get these fibers all going backwards so that it puts a lot of movement into this fly. And we're just going to keep working them, palmering forward, pulling them through, working this back towards the front, get to the front, take off the hackle pliers, work it around, make one simple loop here. Now we're going to pull everything back and tighten down with this good thread and come back a little ways and stop. Now this fly is going to swim like this on its back, so to speak, because of the lead eyes, which means the hook is up and that's excellent because as we drag this over rocks um, it, it obviously won't get as snagged as much. The other thing is it sets if you if it does set, which it, a lot of times that's how I fish it as the fish comes up from the back he'll get the hook and uh, that's just a great pattern but what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little piece of egg foo yarn and we're going to tie it in real soft right here on the top with a few wraps and I like red 
just something about red I know a lot of guys do but I really do and uh, again easily seen and we're going to trim it right back there like that and then lastly we're going to come in with another set of four or five of the barred sand colored juicy legs and we're going to tie those in right behind the front or back right behind the machined eyes and we're going to work it back and kind of give it a good look right there pull tight work our thread up under a few wraps across the front of this 60 degree bend here and we're going to pull tight now as we do this closer to the eyes and the only real difficult part of this fly if you've ever done any tying off the nose is getting a good finish because oh it can be a little bit tedious at times to do this the right way but we're going to make a few loops and we're simply going to pull our barred our juicy legs back up through the thread hopefully it'll all cooperate here around the bottom of the <coughs> hook shank and go ahead and put a good finish as we've done there on this fly now we're going to run oh, I love head cement especially with these kinds of flies put a little head cement top bottom all around obviously give this a day or so to set up but that is a pretty decent fly that I think you'll find will will do the job on late fall winter smallmouth again it's going to swim on its back a lot of movement could be a crayfish could be a dying shad a creek chub uh, just about anything but you can swim it through the pools dead drift it through the pools hop it along the bottom but uh, yellow shiner I think you'll like that now if your water is dirty go with the yellow if water tends to be clear then I go with some of these root beer colored flies look about the same or one of the copper colored flies again clear water kind of fish one of these but either way I think you'll do well and you'll like this fly easy to, easy to tie a lot of uses and um, works on browns and some largemouth bass caught on this as well so anyway go give it a shot enjoy the winter keep fishing and I hope you catch a whole bunch bye